Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn, Master Instructor of the Epstein Hitting System and Online Hitting Academy. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and when you do, activate the notifications button so that you receive updated videos in the future. So I want to bring up something today that I've talked about a little bit in the past and maybe done a video or so, but it's audible cues. Should you use them and if so, when? To me, it depends. During practice, absolutely. We should use audible cues. And what do I mean by that? Things like keeping your hands back. Hey, front shoulder down. Knob in front of the elbow. <coughs> Excuse me. Things of that nature. Some of the audible cues that I've seen carried over from the past, like, you know, stay back. I don't even know what that means. Same way with keep your weight back. And, then, and, a, and a kid gets here and they stop and they keep their weight back and then they try to swing with their weight back. Well, that's not a good cue. If a kid understands what you mean by keeping your weight back and you know that I get here and my hips begin to turn but my hands stay back, that's great. When do we use them? Batting practice, working on hitting, tee work, bag work, whatever the case may be. When shouldn't we use them? I think we shouldn't or at least very limited when the player is in the box during a, a competitive session, meaning a game or a scrimmage or something of that nature. Why do I need to be yelling hitting cues to him when we should have covered all that in practice? All he needs to be thinking about right now is rhythm, tempo, and timing. How did I see the pitcher throw the ball before? What was his wind up like? Where's his arm slot consistently coming through? What kind of pitches have I seen him throw? These are things he should be thinking about before he gets into the box and as he steps in, now he's just got to focus in on his focus points, bringing it in to the pitcher when the pitcher is beginning to release the ball. So stay away from the cues of trying to throw all this information at him when he's in the box. All it does is confuse and frustrate a hitter in the box. Believe me, I've done it before in the past and I've seen it personally where my players get frustrated because even parents, hey, do this, keep the elbow up, all these things, and all they want to do is hit the ball. For the last three or four years that I coached, people were just, they would always ask me the question of, why are you so quiet in third base box? There's nothing I need to tell them there. There's nothing really I need to tell them on the field other than plays, other than calls that we want to perform as far as a set play or something like that. So keep that in mind, think about it, see if it really fits for you. Maybe keep the cues away from the player in the box so they can focus on one thing. Watching the pitcher, reacting to the pitch, and then hitting in the situation that you call. Hey, subscribe to the channel and don't forget, click the annotation, or excuse me, click, click the notation, click the notification button for me, please. And if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me or work with me and you're not in the area, go to the link in the description and follow that to the Online Hitting Academy.